Ah, oh, okay. And also, these, these are called keys. What they do is you put them inside. There's, there's the little um, holes in here. You actually put these in there to help stretch and tighten your canvas. If I'm working on a smaller canvas, I don't worry about it too much. It, it's fine. This is probably the size I'd be like, nah, it doesn't matter. Um, you can always, after you've done them anyway, spray with water and leave it upside down to dry. After it's dried and cured and you blah, da, 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 not when it's wet, gosh. Um, uh, leave it upside down to dry and it'll stretch again anyway and tighten. So I, I don't worry about the keys. You can if you wish. That's that's gone in my bin. Okay, I, I think I think I think the majority of votes were no wet base. So I'm going to do that first. And if if I have enough paints already pre mixed, we might do a second one anyway, and we'll do a wet base. We'll see. All right. So we're going to do this one without a wet base. So first things first. First things first. I am going to. So I've got these three cups that I've just had that have all got leftover paint in them and I am literally going to put them all in the one cup so this is just going to be a random bit of a mix I'm not doing it in the same color scheme exactly as before I'm using the same colors but not in the same scheme because this is a much much bigger um, much bigger base that I'm working on much bigger canvas so we need more paint so I'm just going to use it we're just going to stick it in there so it's kind of blended into itself a little bit in the cup and that will be interesting. We'll see what that does. What will that do? Let us find out. Uh, so I'm going to put everything in a slightly different order now because because we're doing it slightly differently. Da -da 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 -da. I do love this brown. I think it's amazing. It's called Penny Loafer. And it absolutely should be called that because it looks like a penny loafer. It is amazing. And I'm going to use the silver to split there. All right, so, so this one is just the metallics. We're not doing a wet base. Is that going to be enough paint? Do I have enough? I don't think so. I think I need more. I think, I think, I think I need a really, really full cup. This feels better. How do you know how much paint you need? Experience. <laughs> it literally is just the simple fact that I've done this quite a number of times and I have a good idea of what I'm up to now I think I think that should be enough I think I think I think I think okay okay now I'm gonna get silly now I'm gonna get silly all right another vote okay should I put wet base on half and half without cast your votes am I doing a half half or am I doing no wet base <laughs> Let's get silly. What are we going to do? Because everybody was hoping for, well, not everybody, but we, we, the votes were kind of divided. No wet base seemed to win. I think that would be a really good test, actually, doing half and half. So if I do half with black wet, wet, black wet base, of course, because this is black. Um, no. <laughs> yes, half and half. No wet base. Uh, half. Oh, gosh, this is great. Half, half. I think the half, half's going to win. No. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Because I'm no wet base. <laughs> ah, ah, half and half, yes, yes. I think the half and half's going to win. I, I think that would be more interesting. It'd be interesting to see how the paint's going to react. We'll get a better idea of what it's going to do on the canvas anyway. Um... <laughs> half and half would be interesting. Yep, half on diagonal. Trudy, my brain just got there before you did. Like literally moments before you said that, I went, how about if it's on the diagonal? So let's do that. Let's do half and half on the diagonal. What if with the coconut stuff on the canvas? Um, I haven't done that. That would repel the paint too much, I think, because the, what the coconut stuff does is repel the paint and make it break. So it makes it break apart and break open. Um, <laughs> more debate than Brexit. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh, we're having a great time today. All right, so we're going to do half and half. We're doing it on the diagonal, and uh, let's see what this does. Uh, can I? Can, could you put 
plain flow troll down and then stuff on that yes yes you can because flow troll dries clear I have done it before I have enjoyed doing it um, and you can do that as well with inks and mica powders and all that sort of stuff so yes you can and yes I have and we're not doing it right now and I might do it another time that might need to add that to my list uh, those who know my list my list of things to do in my lives is massive absolutely massive so this is also pre-mixed. It has Floetrol and Dimethicone in it already. It's ready to go. A lot of people say that you should never, and uh, never is a strong word, but there you are, um, put um, Dimethicone or Silicone or Cell Additives or Cell Activator or whatever terminology you wish to use um, into your bases. Personally, I do because I like cells. Yep, that's it. That's that's the whole story, the whole reason, up to you and your preferences. Try it, and if you don't like it, don't do it again. And if you do, do it more often. Yay! Art is so subjective. Art is so subjective. You know that somebody bought a an art piece that was a banana taped on a wall. Do what you want. Do what you want. I, I will wash hands, hands of black paint. Back in one second. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 all right and, and and after we've done this one i will do another look at the um the spray glosses again and we'll do the flyover and 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 and, and that will be stuff and things it's going to be interesting um normally when i do a ring pour on a square i normally do a full wet base because I like leaving negative space. But you don't have to. Like, there's so many options. Really do it as you like. Um, you've done flow troll as a puddle and full base, and it does amazing things. Yeah, it does. It does. There's so many, so many ways you can play with this. All right, it's really full, so this is tricky. But that's okay, because that's all going to spread. Once I get down to a level where I'm more comfortable, I will be more fine with my swirls. My little rings that I'm making with the ring paw. Da da de da da. And with mica powders or metallic powders or things like that, my personal favourite way of using them is actually on a wet painting. I will sprinkle it across with a dust, as it were. Okay, now I feel like I can get a better handle on things. I'm still a bit big, but that's okay. The paint is rather forgiving in a lot of ways, but it also has its own mind. If you're aiming for one particular thing, sometimes it's a heck of a lot easier to get it to that point than others. Um, so with various methods, when I started four years ago, there was about like half a dozen methods and that was about it. Um, last year it expanded up to about 60. This year we're up to about 80. Because people keep developing things and naming them and saying this is this method and this is how you achieve this particular result if you are wanting to achieve this this is the way you go about it um, and it's wonderful so there's lots and lots of opportunity to play and create and make different things um, I've actually got in paint pouring and more which is the group attached to the page we've got a monthly challenge uh, challenge pour that I put up I put it up yesterday this month's challenge pour is to do a negative space swipe uh, using a color other than black or white as your base. And uh, some people have started coming in with some things and they're pretty and I really like them. But the idea is to just help people to come up with something a little different. Like even just in the one terminology, there are so many options. Swiping these days, you can do a sunflower swipe, a tree swipe, a circle swipe, um, the one I've invented, the cheese grater swirl swipe. Um, there's lots, lots and lots and lots you can do. Okay, so we have got colours on my canvas and I'm going to heat it. I am going to get so much movement over this side, I'm sure, compared to that side. So in order to help the paint, like me being logical here and stuff, as if that ever happens, but we are, um, in order to help the paint reach out well, I'm going to tilt this way first because this is dry. 
So then this will move quickly because it's wet base, so I don't want to risk things going off too quick. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> yes. Have I ever used a split cup? No. No, I haven't actually, Rebecca. I have not bought one. Um, I have done a lot of range of other things that are similar to a split cup, but I haven't worked with an actual split cup. And maybe that's something I, I, can, I can add to my list. So we're heading this way first. We're getting to the corner. This is so freaking pretty, my goodness. Now, corners. Corners can be tricky. I'm going to put my hand there to help catch the paint so I don't lose all of it too quickly. And then bring it back. Oh, oh, oh it's amazing. It's amazing. I need to I need to get this paint off my hand. I have too much. And, and, and it's fabulous. I'm having a great time. Let's bring it back. Oh, so, so pretty. So because I've got the black wet base out on basically all of the other corners, um, as it falls off that edge, I'm not as concerned about bringing it back because I've got the black there to rescue it, as it were. Oh, my hands are getting absolutely covered. Da 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 da. Where's my towel? Ba 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 ba. This is cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. Loving the pattern it's making. Absolutely loving it. I'm going to halt there and come to this corner next because this is our dry corner. And then I'm going to head off to the last corner um, once I've gotten this off here. Amazing. 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 Now, do I need to actually take it off the corner? No, I don't. But I do want the black to be, um, the wet base to be clean. So we're going to go very, very close and then halt and have a look. I think I'm stopping there. I think that's amazing. And I think I need to wash my hands. Let me wipe off the excess on my cloth. I'll be right back. One second. It's so dark, but it's so pretty. Da -da 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 -da. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's do some things. This is amazing. Oh, this is amazing. It's amazing. I love this. Okay, I <laughs> and we've got cell pops everywhere. It's going nuts. So I am going to leave it with this base, uh, with this corner with the black on it, so that I know that that side was the wet base and this side wasn't. So as it dries. If there's going to be interaction that occurs as a result of the bases, I'll be able to see it more easily and more clearly. So, 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 so pretty, so pretty. It's very heavy and very dark, um, which I expect because we put the black underneath. So the black underneath on that one makes this heavier and darker than the white underneath or the plain, etc. etc. There's some really interesting reactions going on with all these colours and I love it. Um, I feel this here is too heavy though. I'm feeling like that section there is going to dry too dark. So I am going to powder it. I am going to add a little powder, a little bit of a shine. Because I like shiny things. La la la. Um, what have I got? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? So I've got like a, a very bright gold, which I feel... Uh, no, I feel like it would be too much. I've got the bronze. I feel like that could work. But you know what? I'm, I'm actually... Help, we're doing blue. I'm going to add blue on there because that, that metallic blue that's in there anyway, when I go back and gloss spray this, that should lift and that, I think, will be a beautiful accent. So, let's do this. The way I like my powders is very gentle tapping. Oh! Yes, that was a good choice. Um, very gentle, <laughs> little taps, and just add a little bit on top while it's wet. Adds textural elements, adds colour, adds interaction. I like it a lot. A lot of a lot of a lot. Very, very, oh, very amazing. Very, very cool. Uh, I like this. This is working well. So it's not a contrast. It's just an accent. 
and it just it's it's not a blend it just a little bit of a highlight it is so pretty it is so pretty 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 da 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 yes i'm screaming at my paintings again la 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 oh it's so nice so nice it is sinking into the paint a little bit and i think that's just because the paint is dark it's just kind of pulling this is incredible it's i ah, it's I, it's fantastic i'm having a great time all right let's put this down stopping 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 pop that away da, da, dee, da, da. Ba, 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 ba. oh this is great this is great this is great all right so we did an unboxing today we pulled things out of the box and went how should we do this um, do I have a piece that's dry with a powder so you can have a look at how it looks? That is a good question. Uh, yes, I do. Can I put my hands on it easily? <laughs> Give me half a second. Let me see if I can find one. Um, da -da, that's not, that's not, that's gold, that's foil, that's leaf, that's paint, that's... Um, I have a lot that I play with and I do things with. Hang on. Maybe over in this room. One second. No, that's not, that's not, that's not. No, 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 not that I can put my hands on easily. Um, but yes, I do. I do them all the time. I've, I've got one that's, I've got some that are dry, but I haven't glossed them yet. And that's the better way to show you because it shows you how it adheres and stays stuck to the paint. So for me, spray gloss is my preference, whatever you want to be doing. Um, if you're doing resin, if you're doing other things, check your safety, ventilate well, all that sort of thing. Do make sure you're good. Um, you're talking to your paintings tonight and was asking what they wanted to do. Yes, yes, I, I definitely ask my paintings what we're up to. So let's have a quick look. I'm going to pull back up the gloss sprays and I'll actually pick them up together. So this is just how we're going so far. This is definitely by no stretch finished, but you know what? The, the, um, the blue, the Riot Art one, is really not too different to the purple. It's so close. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I might be swapping my spray paint, my spray that I use. I'll find out. Um, the bigger test for me as well will be when I spray something that does already have powder on it to make sure it adheres and stays stuck um, to the piece because currently I do have that going on with the squirts but I'm assuming it's just going to be a matter of coats. So usually I will do three light coats or one thick one and it's really up to me how I'm going with it. So da -da 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 -dum, that's, that's, that's that one and that was a good test and I'm really happy with that. I'll let them dry, I'll do another coat or two um, in between and I'll check them again probably in about a week or so and then I'll have a really clear picture as to whether or not I'll be using that spray but so far very very happy with it. Um, thin line of the bronze in the darker section following the shape it created. It does look like a geode, yes, yes it does. So this is the black and with that one We've got some gorgeous things going on and the blue metallic on top has settled into it and I actually really, really like the effect. I think this is going to be stunning when it's sprayed and brought back up. So that's today. It's been a lovely day. We've had fun. Da, da, da. Um, had a great